My acting classes are called Acting for Life, and they prepare people for the greatest role they'll ever play, which is life. When I grew up working on the Waltons, I never had any formal training, so I didn't know what I was doing, and I was terrified. I was scared all the time. I teach acting to people now as a way to help them learn to communicate, to learn to trust their instincts, to become facile with their emotions, and to look someone in the eye, and, and just look someone in the eye and be able to say your name. A lot of people can't do that. It helps with memorizing vocabulary words and, and doing book reports. For the rest of your life, you'll always be auditioning for a job or dealing with people and their emotions and, and human beings. And that is a great feeling because I never want anyone to feel the way I did growing up. My body image workshops are called body branding, getting comfortable with the skin you're in. My body branding workshops are, are meant for women and girls, mothers and daughters, for people to find out about their bodies. I was so uncomfortable in my body about what I looked like and how I didn't fit in or I didn't fit into a certain size pants that I developed all kinds of body image issues. So my body branding workshops are, are about finding out how you brand your body. We deal with identifying how we brand ourselves and that emotional tattoo we've placed on ourselves and finding a way to get rid of that emotional tattoo if it is something that is not gonna serve your life. My book is called Lessons from the Mountain from Walton to Woman. And that's really what it's about, the fabulous Walton days and everything I've encountered until now. When I first started writing, I was probably nine. I wrote poems and always, and then kept a journal for years. So writing a book about my life and growing up on the Waltons and the experiences that I went through from the fabulous times on the show to the confusing times, the difficult times, the body image times, and what happened and having lupus all the way out to coming, becoming an activist for women's health issues. That's what the book is about. It is about my life and times up until now and the sometimes bumpy mountain that I've had to climb. I wrote the book to help people find a way out. Because I'm a life coach and because I teach, I felt it was important not to just complain about everything that happened because I'm a very lucky girl. But I'm also really lucky that I came out of some very bad choices and negative experiences being able to share with people how they don't have to make the same mistakes I did.